Hello, my health and safety professionals. Welcome once again to my Safe Time online YouTube channel. Our online tutorial for Nebosch International General Certificate. And we are still moving on with our Nebosch syllabus. Therefore, currently we are under the second element. And our today's learning outcome, we are going to look at the benefits and advantages of having certification of either the ILO 2001 or the ISO 4501. So we are going to look at the benefits of this certification. That is, if an organization decides to operate, it decides to adapt or to engage or to get attached with the either ISO 4501 and get certificate because they are going to implement the principles and the elements of this uh, certification or the ILO, that is the ILO 2001, that is in uh, international, uh, inter in international Organization for Standardization uh, in 2001. Therefore, they will be able to abide by the health and safety and uh, occupational health and safety rules and regulations as per their work that they are conducting in their organization. So there is a benefit for having the certification or the benefits of acquiring this certification uh, for as an organization. So we are going to look at it here one by one now the benefits of achieving the i certificate to an organization so one thing you need to remember is that you cannot be awarded the certification you must have set strategies in your organization for you to achieve this certificate it means your organization should have uh shall, shall have been able to uh, to apply all the health and safety measures right from the building that is the premise that is being involved or where the work is being conducted, the workers that are involved in the work activities and the environment that the work or the organization has been situated. So if you, uh, if you, uh, you are able to observe all this, then you will be able to, you will be assured that during the uh, auditing for you to be given a certificate this organization uh, this occupational health and safety organization that is ISO 4501 it must be able to check and see that you comply to all the health and safety measures for you to be given a certificate for you to be able to benefit from that certificate number one it improves employee safety. So that is the major reason and the major benefit and the basic reason for having this certification. Because if your organization is following all the health and safety measures as per the ISO 4501, the first thing is all the employees will be able to work safely with free with uh, uh free from any kind of risk and hazard so the most obvious benefit of iso 500 is the potential to reduce the workplace illness and injuries so that's the first thing number two it boosts stakeholders confidence who are the stakeholders all the people who are uh, who are involved in running the organizations being it the workers the contractors, the employees, uh, uh, the, the employers, and even the outside, uh, the outsource contractors, and the, those other companies who decide to engage with the organization will have a confidence over this organization because they will know that it is covered, it is complying to the health and safety measures. So under that, Beyond the obvious benefits, complying with the ISO 4501 standards is a way to show customers, investors, and regulators that you are serious about 
keeping people safe. So this, all these stakeholders, that is the authority, that is the regulators. We are, when you're talking about regulator, regulators here, we are talking about the authorities, that is the state authority, that is the government state, Ministry of Health and Environment. If they come and they investigate or they check, they inspect your organization, they will, and you present the certificate that you, you, you own the certificate, it means that as an organization, you are serious about health and safety. Number two, the investors. When people come to your organization, they decide to engage or invest through your organization, they are aware that you consider all the health and safety measures, therefore they will not lose. Whatever they are trying to invest, uh, to, to invest through your organization, there is no any loss that they are, they are going to incur. And that is one of the benefits. When you talk about the customers, the customer also the, the customers also um, uh, um, uh, contribute towards the uh, progressiveness or improvement of the business or an organization. And if they, you have a potential customer and they know very well that you, uh, you are covered or you possess this certification, then they know that whatever they are going to acquire or they are going to get from your or the product they are going to get from uh, from your organization is perfect and it is up to the standard that is required internationally number three increase productivity how proper implementation of iso 500 will aid the organization in the reduction of accident at work if the accident at work reduced because of the uh, because of following all the health and safety measures then the productivity will be high so anytime a worker is injured and can't return to work productivity suffers you lose the time hiring and training a replacement so this is the reasoning that the the iso 4500 becomes very much important because if you if you apply and implement the health and safety measures as per the ISO 4501, you will reduce the number of accidents and injuries uh, with your worker, workers in your workplace. By so doing, the productivity will increase and this will be a positive to your or, or to the organization. Number four, lower insurance cost. How? Employers. Employers who implement a successful ISO 4501 management system may enjoy lower out-of-pocket out expenses and premium, including the workers' compensation. And this is very clear. So if you have an organization, we all know that you have to ensure, uh, you have to ensure your organization against any risk or hazard that are foreseen that it might happen any time in your organization it can be fire it can be theft or any other hazard and risk risks so by so doing if you really comply to the health and safety measures as per the 4501 iso that is international organization for standardization you will reduce or you will cut at all all the expenses related to insurance policy as a result of any accident or any uh, 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 activity which has which cost uh, money for with the organization. Next, number six, reduce risk. It reduces the risk. The ISO 4501 offers a framework for the organization to identify potential safety hazards before they contribute to an accident. So right from the beginning, when all the workers, the managers, and the subordinates at all, all the workers at, at large, from the top management to the, uh, to the subordinates, if they are aware of all the health and safety measures and control uh, of how to work safely in an organization, they will reduce the number of risks. And by so doing, the potential health and safety hazard and risk will be identified 
earlier, the accident will be prevented and this will contribute to the profit and productivity again to the organization. Number seven, identify it or it identifies. Here we're looking at the advantages of having or possessing the certification from the ISO 4501. The next point or the next benefit is it identifies the opportunities. How? The ISO 4501 is not just focused on risk, though by, ident by, by identifying potential hazard, employers are also able to uncover opportunities to increase safety and productivity. If you are well versed with the knowledge in ISO 4501, you will easily be able to identify the risk or potential risk and hazards in the organization or in the workplace. And by so, so doing, you will be also be able to identify the opportunities that are found within the organization to improve the productivity and the yields of the operation. Lastly, but not least, lastly, but not least, it stands out as an industry leader and gain a competitive advantage. And this is being able to, uh, to achieve compliance with the standard is a way for organization uh, to set themselves apart of apart, uh, apart, apart if you are abiding or biding for work or contract using the ISO 4501 standards may give you a business an edge over others. And this is an example. Customers, the potential customers and other clients, they can benchmark your business with other businesses. And they will be able to easily identify that your organization is perfect and they are free and confidence, uh, confident that they will uh, invest with your organization that they are going to achieve and there is no failure that will be incurred. So by having the certification, this stand out as an industry leader and gain a competitive advantage. And that's when the customers trying to benchmark. To benchmark is to compare and contrast between two and more organizations that they are, uh, how they perform and how they consider health and safety within their work environment. And we are going to end our videos here, uh, our video here. We are going to end our today's learning outcome here. Thank you very much for watching and let's continue learning health and safety uh, and environmental through this channel. Feel free to ask any question as we move on. We are going to uh, start looking at the, the questions which are related to this learning outcome. Already we have covered a lot and we need to review on the work that we've already done. Thank you very much for watching. Let's meet in the next video.